So when you're trying to accomplish something, whether that be homework or a project or, you know, getting a job, interview, stuff like that, whenever you are trying to accomplish something, there's always going to be a risk of failure. And that's something that a lot of people don't like to acknowledge. A lot of people don't want failure. A lot of people think failure is bad. But is it really that bad? Think about it like this. You have two workers, worker A and worker B. Worker A has a trash can filled with failed ideas and, um, poor ideas but at the same time they have successful ideas whereas worker B he doesn't have those ideas because he was too afraid of failure failure is not necessarily something that you need to be afraid of failure means that you are giving an effort failure means that you are growing and achieving something that you are learning something it is through failure that people are able to learn and become better than who they were in the past and that and that really well ties in with burnout. A lot of the time people need to separate work life and personal life. It is important to have a personal life because when you feel burned out, you need to be able to separate yourself from your work. You need to be able to not link your self-worth to your work, but link your self-worth to other things. Like maybe how much, how many uh, people you're able to impact that, that day or um, how many people were you able to talk to, learn some new ideas, new perspectives, new, new um, ideas, like I said before. That's, that's, a, that's one of the most important things because failure is not something you should be afraid of. Failure is one of the things that many people face and it's through failure that you are able to learn. The, the feeling of resistance, that's what it's called, resistance. The feeling of resistance, the procrastination, the inability to um, find motivation, stuff like that, that all stems from something known as resistance. And resistance exactly is what I just described. It's that feeling of not being able to fully invest yourself into something because of fear of failure or procrastination or laziness. That's failure. That not That's resistance. And the good thing about that is if you feel resistance towards a certain thing, it means that there's great love there. You love this thing, you love this, I don't know, it could be you're working on a film, you love this film, or it could be you're working on a uh, essay for school, and you feel resistance. That's how you know there's great love, there's great care. If you didn't have that resistance, you wouldn't feel necessarily anything towards it. The opposite of resistance isn't bad. The opposite of resistance, the opposite of resistance is apathy. When you start to not care is when you learn that you have no feeling towards this certain thing, aspect, idea, whatever. And that is just something to think about. Thank you for listening to my check-in.